My job as a group leader, I guess, is to see the strategic way forward, to decide which areas to follow, to put in grant applications for funding, uh, hopefully receive funding to follow those, those leads. But it's um, also very important for a group leader to mentor the next generation of scientists who are coming through the lab and I think that that's one thing that's really important in Australian science because we're really quite small is to identify promising young scientists who could go on to be the next generation. Interestingly, my, my training was in zoology and genetics, which is a long way from where I've ended up. But nevertheless, my interest is in physiology, so I guess, you know, I probably could be labelled a physiologist. I'm certainly interested in the way that the body works, how organs work. And in the lab, though, we use a range of different techniques to, to look at this. So where we use anatomy, we need to see what's happening in, inside tissues, we use various physiological uh, techniques to look at the way blood vessels work. We try to do our experiments in as normal a situation, uh, as close to physiological conditions as possible. So, you know, I guess you could say I'm a physiologist. I actually work in a neuroscience department, so I have an interest in, in neuroscience as well. Our group studies vascular function uh, and this is important from the, the viewpoint that cardiovascular disease is uh, number one killer in Australia and overseas and hypertension is the major risk factor for cardiovascular disease and hypertension itself is a multifaceted um, uh, issue and many different sort of treatments are, are used for it. Uh, but what isn't probably well known is that about 30 odd percent of hypertensive patients actually uh, are resistant to the current therapies. So our interest is in looking for potential therapeutic targets for those people. So basically our lab works on blood vessel function and by studying blood vessel function in normal animals, uh, normal mice, and also in animal models of cardiovascular disease, we hope to be able to elucidate mechanisms that might have gone awry in cardiovascular disease. To me, the most exciting thing about research is the element of discovery. Of course, you know, every day isn't a day of discovery. There's lots of tedium in between times, um, just as there is in, in other professions, but I think the ability to be able to uh, follow a hypothesis and follow a lead uh, is, is really quite a, uh, a blessing <laughs> as far as uh, a career goes.